report that Parliament breached its own rules of procedure in adopting the motion and resolution to remove him from the office of Parliamentary Commissioner. Now, the same court also found that Speaker of Parliament Anita Mong had breached rules of nurture justice when she acted as a judge in her own case by continuing to preside over Parliament in sessions regarding Zake. In the majority judgment of 4 to 1, the justices faulted Parliament by passing rules of procedure and impeaching Zake without quorum and amending the committee report and order paper to include a resolution to suspend the MP. But having ruled that the process leading to Zake's impeachment was illegal, it means he is still a parliamentary commissioner and it is up to Parliament, as advised by the court, to follow the right procedure if it so wishes to relieve Zake of his duties. He petitioned the Constitutional Court seeking to reverse his removal from office after MPs impeached him on 10th March 2022 for shaming the Speaker. Zake contended there was no quorum because there was less than 240 members of Parliament in Parliament. He also wanted the court to check on what he termed as the excessive powers of the then Deputy Speaker Anita Mong who he accused of mistreating MPs. His troubles stemmed from a social media post. Uh, we are happy that court this morning has uh, annulled her misconduct and ad advised her to desist from being both a, uh, a judge, prosecutor, and police person in her own causes and uh, advise her to follow the law in implementing any recommendations from any committee and it always to adhere to quorum, which she ignored. And it has come out clearly that we have won. I'm still the Commissioner of Parliament according to this case. And I want to thank so much my party, the NUP, for standing with me in this cause because for them, they followed the law and said, I'm still the commissioner, and still, according to court, I'm still the commissioner. I'm very, very happy that at least we've checked the rule of law in this country. Now, NTV's Jackson.